there with your math lesson for today. Um, but, you know, when we do math, we start um, our lesson off by getting our brains warmed up and ready to think about numbers and strategies and tools. So, we're going to get our brains warmed up by doing the number of the day. So, today, here's your mystery number. See if you can figure it out um, before I give it to you. So, there is, it is an even number. It, hmm, I'm trying to trick you. The digits are the same number. And if you add the two digits together, so it's a two digit number, the two digits are the exact same number. And if you add them together, it equals four. Hmm. So it's an even number, both digits, are the same number, and if you add those two digits together, you get four. What is your mystery number? If you said 22, you are correct. So it's an even number, okay, because it ends in two. Both digits are the same number, and if you add them together, 2 plus 2 equals 4. So, that is your number of the day. And now you know what to do. I want you to please set the timer for about 2 to 3 minutes and come up with as many different ways to make 22. So, you can write it in word form, longs and cubes, tally marks, pictures, the list goes on. You guys know the routine. Set the timer for 2 to 3 minutes and come up with as many ways to make 22. Go ahead and get started. All right, once you're done with that, we're gonna move on to our math lesson. We are still in topic 12. Topic 12 is all about um, measurement, measuring length. And today I had my other computer pulled up and I was getting ready to pull up the math lesson so we could do our solve and share how we normally do it in the classroom. You guys could see the little video of the robot. And you know, technology, sometimes it doesn't want to cooperate and it didn't. Uh, the uh, Envision website um, is down. So we're gonna just do it through our book um, and we'll go from there. And hopefully tomorrow it'll be back up and running. So today, your I can statement is, I can use objects like cubes to measure length. Okay, I can use objects like cubes to measure length. So, I know at home you're probably saying, well, Miss Millie, I don't have a cube. And that is A-okay. I'm going to show you how you can kind of make a cube, like a makeshift cube. It won't be 3D like this one, um, three-dimensional. It'll be flat, but that's okay. If you have, okay, like a sticky note, just a small piece of paper, all you have to do, grab my scissors, okay, is use the corner of it. Use the corner of it. It already has a straight edge over here and a straight edge here. And a cube is not quite an inch. It's pretty close. But you just cut up as straight as you can. And over. And it's going to make a square. Okay, because a cube... One flat side of it is a square, four equal sides. So this can be your makeshift cube. If you don't have one of these at home, then you can use your makeshift one on a paper. All right, so you have to do this first. You have to make your, cu your cube or your square to measure with. This is going to be your object that you're going to measure with. We're going to pretend it's a cube. If it was 3D, it would be. Um, so you have to do this first. Then here's your solve and share for today. How can you use connecting cubes, or your makeshift one, to tell how long the pencil is? 
Okay, so now I'm going to show it to you. And here we go. Here's your solvent share. Okay, how can you use connecting cubes to tell how long the pencil is? I was trying to read it backwards. How long the pencil is? So, I want you to now take about one to two minutes using your cube that you made to measure this pencil. And then you're going to come back and we're going to see how many cubes it is. This is your unit of measure, is your, your square, your cube. Okay, so go ahead and take about, you can pause it, measure your pencil. You can even write your answer down on the other part of the sticky note that you use. Okay, you can even write, the pencil is blank cubes long. It's right on the bottom. Okay, or just write the number cubes long. You don't want to forget your unit of measure. Okay, that's important. We're not measuring by feet. We're not measuring by hands or inches. We're measuring by cubes. While you do that, guess what? I'm going to do it too. And I'm going to use the one I made just so it's fair. Okay, got my answer. Now, we may have a little bit of a different of an answer, and that's okay, because some cubes may be a little bigger, some might be a little smaller, um, but if you got around seven cubes long, you are correct. Okay, so I want to show you something doing this, though. When you do your measuring, and you can even see, okay, they started at the eraser, one end of the pencil, and their line goes all the way down to the, the point of the pencil on the lead. Now, when you measure with your cube or your unit of measure, okay, um, you need to make sure that you are lining it up. Is this a correct way to measure? One, two, three, four, five. Hmm, what happened there? What didn't I do? If you said that I love big gaps when I was just kind of hopping, I did. I wasn't lining it up. So when you measure, you want to make sure that you are holding it, and then you kind of put your finger where you ended, and then that's where you're going to start to put my finger three, and so on. So you want to make sure, or another way you could do it, okay, is if you had a pencil or a marker, you could always draw a line. Okay, that little line right there is where I ended. So that's where I'm going to start my next one. That line now is where I ended. So that's where I'm going to start my next measurement. Okay, now I'm on three. So you can do it that way too. If you don't want to use your finger, you can use a marker or pencil. Okay, but if you got around seven cubes long, you are correct. So we're going to move on to some practice. Don't throw your little cube away, your pretend cube. You are still going to need that because over here, see, I want you to look at the top. It's exactly what we just talked about. It says, Use copies of a shorter object to measure a longer object by each one. So it's talking about the cubes. Okay? Like each copy of the shorter object end to end, this will be the length in unit. So if you are looking at the marker, it is showing you the length of the marker. It's showing you the cubes that connect. So that's what's kind of cool about using the cubes is you can connect the cubes. You don't have to draw a little line and and um, move your cube along, you can just connect them. But we got to be creative and make our cubes. Um, and this is what I wanted you to see over here. Okay, measuring this, they're the same exact marker, but this got three cubes, and this one, okay, is wrong as well. Both of those are wrong. This one up here, 
they're leaving what in the middle of the cubes? Gaps, like we talked about. They're not, their cubes are not connected. But down here, it, it's hard to see, but this guy right here is overlapping those two cubes. Okay, it's cutting off, it's overlapping it. So you're kind of squeezing too many cubes into there. So you want to make sure that your cubes are lined up perfectly connecting, or like I said, using your makeshift cube, okay, it's lined up. You can even draw your line. So it's just showing you not to leave gaps and not to overlap when you use your unit of measure. But down here, you have a stapler and you have an eraser. You are going to use your cube to measure these items, okay? You can pause it so it freezes on your screen and you can actually do it right on your screen. Obviously the stapler they have is four cubes, but I want you to try using, doing, using your cube right here, okay? And doing the eraser. So at this time, you can pause it, measure it on your screen, and then you can tell an adult or write it on this piece of paper how many cubes the eraser is. Take it down. If you got two cubes for the eraser, you are correct. All right, now, same thing over here. You have um, a tape dispenser and you have a glue stick. They're using items from like a classroom. So look at it, you're not measuring the top, you're measuring from where it, it starts, because it's at a slant, okay, all the way down to where it ends. Still using your cube, you created if it got kind of scrunched, then make another one. Okay, same thing measuring that and then measuring your glue stick. All right, those are what I want you to do. So if you want to at this time, you can pause it, measure it, and get how many cubes it is. When you are all done with that, if you want to challenge your brains, you can do the higher order thinking, the challenge number five down here. Okay, you can read the directions and do that. Or if you want to continue this, again, go on a scavenger hunt around the house, find different things, and measure it with your, your cube, okay? Maybe you find a picture frame, and you're measuring it, and you get, it's 20 cubes long. Um, maybe you go on to the next thing, and you find a book, or a TV remote, or something like that. So go on a scavenger hunt around your house with your cube, and measure different things. This is your unit of measure, cubes. Okay, like I said, we're not measuring by hands or inches or centimeters or feet or marbles or paper clips. We're measuring by cubes, and this was our makeshift cube. If we were in the classroom, we would be using our connecting cubes, okay? But we had to be creative. So that is our lesson for today in math, um, using the unit um, of cubes and measuring different items that way. Um, have fun going around your house and measuring different things with your cube. And nice work today, and we will be back tomorrow with our morning meeting and our lessons tomorrow. So, Smarties, make sure that you get outside, get some fresh air today, and don't forget to do your computer lesson, um, whether that was typing your spelling words or getting on a fun website, uh, whether that was ABC Yeah or ABC Mouse or Moby Max, Starfall, all of those ones. Um, I got some videos of some of you guys doing your Go Noodles this morning. I loved it. I love seeing you guys up and moving. It makes me think back of us back in our classroom. I miss you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.